Hey, what's up, everyone? It is Wolf Keeper, and today I have a new package from the cubicle. I'm trying to um, stay safe during the uh, COVID-19 stay-at-home order, so with something like this, um, I'm just going to film this uh, right here, and I'm going to dump the contents out off-camera. So I'll be back in a sec. What is up, everyone? Again, it is Wolf Keeper. And uh, today I have a big, big unboxing of all of this stuff um, here. I might have to split this one up into two parts, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just move this stuff off camera and I'll get into the first thing. Uh, this is a sticker set for my Gain XS. I got it in black, so I figured once the stickers start getting like really scratched up, I need I would need this. So yep, yeah. glad to have that. And uh, um, I ordered seven <laughs> clear cuticle stands as uh, sort of a joke. Um, but I guess we'll get into these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of self-explanatory, just a joke. Seven clear cubicles. <laughs> um, next, is, ooh, next is uh, Solaritas, Angstrom Solaritas. I'm really, really excited about this stuff, uh, especially because of the cool little 3D printed, <laughs> the 3D printed thing. Um, but yeah, I have wanted this stuff for a while. I've heard that it's really, really good. So um, I just decided to pick up a pack of it. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Slayer House. Okay, now into the actual cubes. So I guess we'll start off with this. Um, this is the Chi Thunderclap V3M. Cube, cube packaging these days. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. Why? Why Chi? Why can't you just make a normal box, huh? A pamphlet. Seriously, I mean seriously. A plastic thing. Cube. And a, another cur- So Really cheap. I, I mean, really. So I've heard that uh, this cube is supposed to be a lot like the Volk Power, and I am actually sort of a fan of the Volk Power, so I'm kind of excited for this, for instance. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. It definitely, uh, it feels like the Volk Elite. <laughs> I know that's kind of weird, but... It definitely does feel like the Volk Elite. Huh. That feels really good. It is, like, a little tight right now. But, um... I imagine just loosening it and, uh... Maybe since it's so dry, uh... Putting in some Angstrom Solaritas would help it. <laughs> um... And other algorithms... Besides a T film. Yeah, it's pretty stable. Uh, it definitely does feel feel and look like the Volk Power M. Um, but yeah. Very like crunchy. It's all it's also very stable like the Volk Power or the Volk Elite. But uh, 
yeah, I guess that's the G Thunderclap V3M. Um, these two. Um, so these both are sort of like joke puzzles. Um, I had the, I had one of these, but um, or actually two of these. They've both broken on me, so um, I just I decided to get a stickerless one since they started selling stickerless ones. And uh, this little guy right here, um, GE 2x3x3, two by two by three. and this is 2x2x3, two by two by <laughs> yeah, okay. So I guess I will get into the 2x2x3 um, two by two by first. Same old packaging, just a pamphlet. <laughs> um, I already, I've had one of these, ooh. Huh. Definitely feels a lot different than um, my other ones. I'm gonna make sure this one doesn't pop because I don't have to keep on ordering more uh, two by two by threes. It feels like the um, the it's the frosted interior, like inside. I don't remember how to solve a two by two by three. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I guess that is the G 2x2x3. Um, I've already had one of these, like I've said, so uh, not really too much to say, since I think I have unboxed one of these on my channel before, but yeah, pretty fun little cuboid. Uh, next is, ooh, <laughs> rip the box. Wow, really? Like I said, cute, cute packaging. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Feels very similar to the two by two by three. Another, um, another pamphlet <laughs> and another box. Ooh, I've never had a puzzle like this before. But, huh, definitely feels very interesting. Oh, you can turn it on here. Wow. Um, very interesting cuboid. It's just a little fun thing. Um, I guess you can maybe take on trips. Um, yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels a lot like the 2x2x3, two by two by um, but, um, like, the feeling, like it's got the frosted interior on the inside is kind of weird, but, um, it actually feels, like, pretty smooth and nice, um, but, yeah, I just... Um, wanted to get this one for sort of a challenge and this one to have as a hopefully keepsake um, instead of popping the last two of them that I have. Um, my scissors seat, which I want to show. The cubicle business card! <laughs> um, so these are the two puzzles that I'm really excited to get into. Also, um, I want to mention that I could, I guess I could, could have gotten, um, this one for Keeping It Home 2 on April 18th. If you want to sign up, it's free. Go do it. Go do it. Um, so I, I, I guess I could have gotten this one for Keeping It Home 2. Uh, but this one I definitely got for Keeping It Home 2. Um, it's the Cyclone Boys Cache one 4x4. Um, I did last Keeping It Home with... A Volk 4, a, a dead Volk 4, um, strong, and I just got horrible times, so I just decided to- So, so sorry about that. For some reason, something popped up on my screen and just stopped my video, so, um, I'm back here with the Cyclone Boys Cache one. um, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, there was nothing really in the box, 
that was uh, important, just like a pamphlet and a uh, uh, mini screwdriver. This. But, yeah, the quiche one. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Some stuff on it. I might have to fix that later. Um, but this isn't that great. It sort of feels like a uh, out of the box bouche. I don't know. Um, but it's not bad. It's kind of dry, um, which means I I could use some Celeritas on it since it's sorry since it's supposed to help with uh, dry puzzles. Um, but yeah, it's kind of tight, it's kind of stiff right now. I might have to break it in. Um, but yeah, I guess, I right, just hope this will get me back into, uh, practicing 4x4, um, with a better view. Uh, last but not least, we have this. I, I don't really do square one, and this is a, uh, square one, but... I just decided it would be fun to pick up because um, so even though I don't really do square one, I'm deciding or I'm like starting to get into it. Um, so here you have the square one. I got it in stickerless black, and we got a pamphlet and spring. Nothing really too much. Like I said with the thunderclap, ridiculous packaging. Ooh, there it is. So I've never really had a stickerless black square one, but uh, yeah. Oh, dude. Whoo! I don't know why I just did the algorithm. But it feels pretty good. Feels much better than the, um, or my original vault, which is stripped. Feels much more, much more, f like, filled. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, the original vault, um, it's also kind of tight, but, um, the original vault. It was like sort of hollow. It felt hollow, um, but this one, it just it feels it feels like the vault powers um, of square ones. Um, right now, I have just this like a stock wild M or wild double M for because it's magnetic. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that this will get me into square run like a bunch more. So I'll just have this I'll just have to set this up and uh, yeah, see how it performs. So that was all the stuff that I got for today's unboxing. Quick recap, Chi Thunderclap V3M, Chi 3 by 3 by 2 or 2 by 3 by 3 um Chi 2 by 2 by 3 Seven clear cubicle stands, little screwdriver, Cyclone Boys Quiche Run 4x4M, the Volt V2M, stickerless black, Ingstrom Solaritas, and a GAN 3x3 sticker set. So, hope you guys enjoyed that um, unboxing videos. Uh, sorry for the pause in there. Um, eh, stupid things that pop. Anyways, um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!